Usually on Saturday mornings on the other channel, we talk about new upcoming games while we're doing summon videos. We didn't do that this week, so today we are going to do a video looking at all the new upcoming games. So the first one we have is something called Adam. It is a sci-fi themed game that combines roguelike and FPS genres. As a betrayed soldier, the players fight for revenge against their enemies. Get ready to destroy your enemies by boosting your own ro- This doesn't really tell me a whole lot about- Oh, it's a first person shooter. Okay, it looks decent enough. Yeah, not bad. Doesn't look crazy, but... Not... not bad. Could be fun. Depends on if it's like a... it's not gonna be a $60 game. I- I can see the graphics, it's not gonna be a $60. It's- it's- it's okay enough. Next one, this is Grasshoppers. In this simple but challenging arcade game, help Bobby pick up some pumpkins as fast as you can, but watch out for the grasshoppers. <laughs> Okay, well this is, this would have been the talk of the town if this was 40 years ago. Next is a game called Wind Love, which is a visual novel in Japanese style, an exciting story with four endings, a huge number of choices, 10 plus CGs, 5 plus BGs, original music and animated sprites of the main characters will allow you to immerse yourself in a cruel world of dis- it's a, it's a book. It's basically a book. Next game is called CD2 Trap Master. So this is a Candy Disaster sequel, I apparently. Uh, 3D tower defense and roguelike deck building, craft a deck layout trap. This actually looks pretty interesting. Uh, Ward off, it's not the first game of this uh, genre, but it's always kind of interesting, these games. Uh, layout traps, ward off enemies, and navigate through the map until you confront the boss. Make sure to use a variety of funny and creative traps to shoot, stab, and scorch enemies. This looks like something that I mean, we don't know how much these things actually cost, but it looks like something could be interesting enough to uh, to play around with. Next one is called Horror Loop, made with a new generation game engine with a deep, impressive, and original story. Is waiting for you. Oh, this this seems very. This is an asset flip. Feels like an asset flip. How many of these am I going to see on the Unity 3D store? If if the Description of the game is made with a new generation game engine with a deep, impressive, and original. So it's just, it's it's nothing. It's gonna be nothing. This is great. The game consists of three parts in total. The first of these sections is the home section. In the house section, the player is in a loop trying to get out of the house by overcoming various difficulties. The second one is the hospital part, and the third is the cave. The game is three seconds. <laughs> if it's a home, a hospital, and a cave, what part is this? Because that was this is no parts. None of these are a home, a hospital. Let's just go to the next one. Next is a game called Only Down, which is made with speedrunners in mind. Your skill will be tested. Victories are gained by the inch in this unforgiving puzzle platformer. This seems like it's going to be a YouTube game. It's not intended. Yeah, the, it's not intended to be. This is probably another asset flip, but it's not intended to be a uh, thrilling game that's uh, you know with a $60 price tag this is this is a game intended for like youtubers and twitch streamers like you could see the texture in whatever that is down there that gray lake that is just a very obvious repeating texture it really looks like none of these assets were designed for this game it's just like hey we found this in the unity store and that's why we put it in the game. Next up we have Wish Us Luck, which is a multi-plot interactive fiction fueled by your hard decisions. Play three strangers whose fates are intertwined by the cogs of chance on an eventful day. But remember, favoring one character means jeopardizing the others. Good luck. Oh, it looks like a story-driven GTA. Right? Do you, are you guys getting GTA vibes? I'm getting GTA vibes. Let's, uh, let's fast forward a little bit. Yeah, it's it's a visual novel <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. Next we have a game called Void Runner. Live the dream of being a parkour runner in a world where clouds are not the limit. Run, climb, explore the void and reach the space, but do not fall. The higher you go, the harder it gets. It's a running simulator. Well, it's parkour. It feels like a lot of asset flips. Could be fun. Oh, it's, there's some interesting uh, additions to some of these scenarios. Kind of got that steampunk-ish vibe, but I don't know how much of this is actually original and how much of this is just... It's, I, I think that's just going to be Steam now. <laughs> Jesus, what is this? Garten of Bonbon 4. 
Explore, oh my goodness, what is this? Explore the abandoned levels of Bon Bon's Kindergarten. Survive, it's a YouTube game. It's a game intended for YouTubers, it's for Markiplier specifically, uh, apparently. Uh, and Jack Spadicey. Survive the residents of the establishment that was left surprise, uh, suspiciously empty. Uncover the truth behind the place and find the whereabouts of your missing child. It is a game for YouTube. A lot of these are just intended for YouTubers. Uh, it could be a smart idea because aside from that, it's really hard to get marketing for your game. So if you can make something goofy enough for YouTubers to get some views out of it, makes sense, right? Space Mechanic Simulator. Become a space mechanic, get your hands dirty, explore the depths of space and repair broken machinery. Wait a second. Does it seem like there's a trend of games that are just, it's its nothing, it's just a whole lot of nothing, and then you jump from one thing to another, or this one you fly from one thing to another, it's like, we, want, we don't want to do the whole level design thing, so we're just going to stick a bunch of objects, and then we're going to put a skybox around it, and that's going to be, that's going to be what it is. That's Steam Gaming. Okay. I mean, on, on mobile we have idle RPGs, on Steam we have asset flips with skyboxes and a bunch of floating uh, random things. Diagnose, pro diagnose problems using diagrams and tools, perform repairs, manage your resources, and watch this. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to crap on everything. Like, could be, these games could be fun, but uh, j uh, the dev, the dev in you just doesn't ever stop. <laughs> just stop critiquing these things. Uh, simulate a machinery come alive or just gaze upon the beauty of the solar system. Sengoku. Build and manage villages in an open world feudal Japan. This looks pretty sick, actually. Uh, survive, explore, meet unique characters, and establish your legacy. Play solo or co-op multiplayer. So, kind of Age of Empires meets Dynasty Wars, I would imagine. But without the fighting. Yeah. Basically. Kind of getting that vibe. More, more so Age of Empires with Dynasty Warriors uh, story line. It's, it's the other side of Dynasty Wars. It's the not fighting. It's the uh, tend to your crops and make houses. Atlas Fallen. Rise from the dust and glide the sands of a time... Oh, this looks really good, actually. This looks pretty sick. This looks really sick. Rise from the dust, glide the sands of a timeless land filled with ancient dangers, mysteries, and fragments of the past. Hunt legendary monsters with powerful sand-infused weapons and a bit- Sand-infused weapons? Sand-infused weapons. This is how I get my uh, Arabic father to play an RPG. I'm like, there's sand-infused weapons! He's like, wait, 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 wait. Are your power-ups homeless? M not that with the sequel, though! <laughs> the sequel! And abilities in spectacular, super-powered co- This looks very good, though. Maybe it's just- I'm like, sand with sand infused weapons. Uh, I'm sold. This looks beautiful, though. Looks like the, uh... The best of what we've seen so far this week. Let's see some screenshots. Very nice. Yeah, I want this. Banshao Tactics, a strategy turn-based role-playing game in the Japanese Gangster High School. They're very into role-playing games that occur at school. I think some of you guys might like this. What you? Why is this giving me kind of uh, My Hero Academia vibes? I don't know why. From the the mobile game, I never watched the anime. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I know. But it reminds me of like the beginning of the anime. Uh, MHA game. It's kind of cute. It's like Japanese school 2D tactics. It, it's, it's exactly Japanese school 2D tactics game. Man, the more I see, the more I kind of am into this. This could be fun. Let's take a look at some, uh, some of these. Oh, they use naughty language too. That's even better. Tales and Tactics, roguelike squad-based auto battle. Oh no, not an auto. It's a PC though. Why we need? Oh, oh, it's this one of these. It's like an auto chess style game. Uh, roguelike squad-based auto battler in a tabletop RPG setting. Draft your army, carefully equip and position your units, make important choices, and meet a colorful cast of characters as you make ready for the grand tournament. This looks uh, kind of cool. 
I don't know, I'm just so burnt out from mobile games that I'm like, is it anything that someone has put more than a hundred hours of work into? Oh, okay, then, <laughs> then I'm excited by it. The developer for this is Yogscast Games, like from, I would assume from YouTube, Yogscast, so that's uh, kind of interesting, I didn't even know they made games. Stray Gods, the role-playing musical. Gods, romance, murder, musical numbers, play as grace in a world where Greek gods live in a hiding among us. Change your fate as you draw- wait, Greek gods? Okay, so it's, uh, dislight. Somewhat. Um... Change your fate as you draw friends, foes, and lovers into song using your powers of musical persuasion to unravel the mystery of the last muse's death. That's kind of wacky. Role-playing musical. I want to see some game... Well, maybe there's not... Maybe it's more story than gameplay. There are some people I think that would really enjoy this. I think it's for a niche crowd, but I think that the people that it's for are going to really enjoy this. Robin Hood Sherwood Builders Bandit's Trail. Free prologue. Oh, so it's a free part of a, like, a free demo for the larger full-price game. Uh, Robin Hood Sherwood Builders, an action-adventure RPG with base-building elements where you take on the role of a classic hero who stands up to tyranny and injustice that haunts Sherwood, fight, craft, steal, and of course help the local people grow, and then it stops the description. Okay. <laughs> looks good enough, though. Actually, it looks, uh, yeah, it looks pretty, pretty solid. But this is only, this is only a demo here, so... Mundi Ali, embark on a magical 2D adventure in the kingdom beneath your hometown. Meet its charming inhabitants, explore enchanting landscapes, and experience an extraordinary tale inspired by The Undertale, One Shot, and Stardew Valley. The free demo is available below, boasting a 96% user rating. They only asked their friends. One of their friends gave them, <laughs> gave them a one star. It's kind of a slow demo. Let's uh, skip past some things so we can see a little bit more. It looks well made enough, actually. I, I know some of you may think that, like, oh, it's 2D, which means it's like no effort, but it's not. Some 2D things are a lot of effort. Some 3D things that maybe look good sometimes are asset flips, and it's like, oh, this person put like no effort into it. It's just they license things from the Unity asset store or other asset stores. Um, but like you can tell if it's original characters and there's a lot of content available, then yeah, this looks, this looks like it was a, a lot of effort, more effort than the 3d things. Again, some people think that the, just cause it's 3d, it's more effort, but death bulge battle of the bands, a role playing game for each. Why is it always is role playing or it's jumping on random, uh, <laughs> random flying things. Role-playing game featuring musical themes with an affinity for sick and ridiculous. The story revolves around a deadly battle of the bands contest where entrants can attack and be attacked with music. It's full of character. This reminds me a little bit of the... I don't, I don't want to know what that just was. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of the Canned Heroes RPG. Probably a little bit better quality than that, but... It does, it definitely does not take itself seriously, which gives it extra fans, own fancy combat system. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a uh, South Park. If, if it had like a budget of one twentieth of the South Park game. Uh, man, that was, that was a solid game. There's multiple South Park games. Uh, the South Park RPGs, like the Stick of Truth. Uh, and the other one, Fractured Butthole. Fractured Butthole. Uh, those solid, solid RPGs. I Am Future Cozy Apocalypse Survival. I Am Future is a relaxing survival game about building a cozy rooftop camp amid a flooded post-apocalyptic city, set up a farm, cook delicious food, dismantle tools for crafting resources. This looks like a, a post-apocalyptic Fortnite. Hold on. I'm getting a very Fortnite vibe. It's the art style, but... And also, <laughs> and the fact that there's building. Um, those are food, dismantle tools for crafting resources, automate chores by recruiting cute robots and uncover the mystery behind the catastrophe. Let's see if we see some more gameplay. It looks uh, interesting enough. It looks like actually the post-apocalyptic The Sims. A little bit. I changed my mind from Fortnite. 
This looks like the uh, post, -apo post apocalyptic Sims. Wrestle Quest, tag team with Destiny. Pro wrestling and RPG fantasy collide in this ultimate pixel powered adventure. Macho Man Randy Savage and tons of other icons offer guidance as you power bomb your way to glory beyond the ring. This hero's journey ain't just an epic quest, it's Wrestle Quest. There are some people that I think would love this game. This was a passion project for sure. You can tell. WrestleQuest by Skybound Games. This is this the same Skybound as uh does a lot of this <laughs> as does a lot of yes, companies do more than one thing. It's a shocker. Y'all, this is pretty sick. That's pretty sick. All the OG wrestling characters. The WWE superstars. Yeah, it is the same Skybound. It's got the same logo. Of course. Okay. Hammer of Virtue, a hammer smashing action game with fully destructible environments. Use your hammer for combat or smash the environment to launch debris towards your enemy to create an emergent and chaotic gameplay interactions in a wild adventure. It's a YouTube game. This is this seems like it's a game for YouTube and Twitch. That's that's the intent. It's just goofy for it's just goofy for goofy's sake. Yeah. <laughs> it's just goofy for goofy's sake. Okay. Yep. Video verse. Relive the old days of past social gaming networks and dive into this fictional video game era where the Kinmoku Shark gaming system and its online social network video verse were still popular. Uh what? Welcome to Videoverse. Okay, so it's like the Xbox social media, but like from 40 years ago. I'm very obsessed with saying 40 years ago today. Everything is 40 years ago. Erozold. I don't... It's Erozold, I, I guess. Uh, Mio's an adventurer who dived into a dungeon dreaming of getting rich. She falls into a pit and battered and bruised, obtains a holy sword called Aphrodite. However, the holy sword is a magical sword with special powers. How come this doesn't happen in real life? How come we don't, like, just dive into pits and it's like, it's a magical land. You get a sword and you get magic powers. Like, oh, cool. I feel like there's going to be a lot of kids jumping into wells and <laughs> climbing the caverns and... I didn't find any magical swords. Well, that's because that's not really a thing. Hate to bump people out. It's cute. Let's see some more. Yep. Man, looks like a Game Boy Advance game. Last but not least, Overwatch 2. Critically acclaimed team-based shooter game set in an optimistic future with an evolving roster of heroes. Team up with friends and jump in today. They're like, we don't need a description. It's Overwatch. You know what it is. Overwatch is Overwatch. Yeah. A lot of people are polarized on this game, though. Some people are very upset about it. They're like, don't do Overwatch 2. Just leave Overwatch as Overwatch and work. continue working on Overwatch. So, yeah. Looks good, but... You know, I get, I get where they're coming from. Anyway, that is, uh, that is it for this week in games on Steam. We're not really going over the mobile ones because God help us. I feel we're safer with the Steam ones. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you have a great weekend. I will see you as always in the next one.